But anyways, she has this dream about me last night or yesterday, okay, last night. At the same time, I'm getting this word from the Lord about being more honest. And in the dream, she sees an open book. There's this open book, this beautiful book that I've written. And she sees like either on the cover or inside the book, she sees an eagle, all right? So this is obviously a book of containing some of these revelations that I'm talking about, being more honest. And she sees that there's a marker, okay, like a book, a bookmark, but it's made of, it's pure white, but it looks like it's made of like a feather. It's made out of a feather, either an angel feather, bird feather, I don't know, but a feather, right? So I believe that feather and then the marking of where it's opened in this bookcase represents that the Lord is giving revelation about where we're at when it pertains to the open book revelation, that the Lord is causing his prophets and prophetic people to eat in this hour. But also the Lord is marking us with a specific revelation for us, the specific times that we're living in on a specific page. And we don't get to choose that. We don't get to pick and choose, okay, what God's going to mark us with. You read Jeremiah 23. He says, who will stand in the counsel of the Almighty God and be marked by his word, okay? When we say, Lord, I'm going to stand in your presence and I'm going to be your servant, the Lord comes and marks us and we are marked with that word. We are burdened with that revelation and we have to release that burden. Just like it talks about in Jeremiah 20, we have to release the burden that comes through revelation. So anyways, this open book, it's in this glass case in my mother's dream. And, um, you know, it's a book about Revelation. And she says, for some reason, the book is being sent, okay, to Indonesia, okay, in the dream. The book is in a case, okay, so it's being guarded, it's open, but it's being sent to Indonesia. And here's what I believe it represents. A lot of the revelations that I've received over the last few years, okay, that I've been reluctant to share because these revelations will expose people as I share more of them. They will expose things in the church. They will expose specific ministries and they will expose spe specific ministers just by the nature of the revelation. But ultimately, what many of these revelations that I've received exposed is the anti-Christ spirit, okay? There is an anti-Christ spirit that's at work and that is working very, very hard right now to bring the whole um, world together in a false unity to bring the church together with other religions. You know, there's movements like in America, for instance, like Chrislam, where there's a group of Christians and, and people, you know, Muslims coming together and worshiping together saying we serve the same God. You know, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the God of Ishmael, you know, which is where, you know, the roots of the Muslim movement come from, from, you know, Ishmael's kingdoms. But, uh, you know, that thing's already at work, but a lot of the revelation is given is to expose uh, that spirit. In Indonesia, I believe this is the meaning of Indonesia. Indonesia is one of the number one Muslim strongholds in the world, but it's also a place where God has poured out great revival, right? So what I believe is happening right now is he's asking his prophets and his prophetic people to be more bold with the revelation that he's given because it is necessary to combat the Antichrist spirit in the day that we're living in, okay? And I always quote this, John 10, Jesus said, you shall know the truth and then the truth shall set you free. If some of God's prophetic people do not rise up right now and speak forth the burden of revelation that they've been given, there are millions of people that are not gonna be set free that are in Islam. There are millions of people that are not gonna be set free that are bound by that communist spirit, right? That are bound by that socialist spirit. Right? If we don't speak the truth about what's really be ha happening in the spirit realm concerning racism and the stirring up of race wars right now, people are not going to be set free uh, from that spirit. But inevitably, what's happening today is prophets have been neutered. Okay, prophets have been uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They've been castrated. Okay, C prophets in the charismatic church have been made into eunuchs. Okay, and we know from the scripture that's what Jezebel does. Jezebel takes the prophets. And she neuters them. She hunts them. Okay. She sends assassins out. They're forced to, you know, scrape, you know, in, in, in caves, you know, scrape for their food. And the Bible says that when Jezebel's in find the game, it was eunuchs that threw her off the wall to her death. So those eunuchs, those those disenfranchised, you know, even even men, you know, from the feminine spirit, all that, but prophets, you know, that have had their authority taken from them, that have had their revelation, their words suppressed, they're the ones that actually rise up and overthrow the Jezebel spirit. And that's what God's asking us. Is the prophetic people to do right now in this hour. We need to overthrow the Jezebel spirit in the charismatic church. Who cares if you lose your ministry? Who cares if you lose a couple of partners? Who cares if you're no longer invited on the conference circuit anymore? You know, if you're making decisions because of those things, because of those things operating in your life, then the conference circuit becomes your God. 
that becomes an idol in place of God. If you're making decisions solely based on just the finances, and I'm not saying not use wisdom, but many times fear parades itself as wisdom. Okay, Really, you're in fear. You're not speaking the word of the Lord, and you're calling it wisdom. Okay, And it's compromise, and God's saying no more of that. If the Lord has burdened you with revelation many times, it's because you're supposed to release it, and the burden will not alleviate until you release out of your mouth what God has burdened in your heart with divine revelation. It's time we overthrow this Jezebel spirit. It's time we release what we have. And literally, I believe there's going to be millions of people set free as Elijah messengers rise up in these last days to proclaim the soon coming of Jesus Christ and to speak truth. Truth that's become unpopular. Truth that's even been outlawed in certain states, in certain places, even in the church. There's some truths that can't be spoken anymore. But let me tell you something. God is the author of our faith. Jesus is the author of our faith. And he's the author of truth. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. And if the spirit of God dwells in you richly, you need to be a man or a woman of truth. As you begin to speak truth, the Holy Spirit's going to empower you. And let me tell you something. He'll protect you. He'll pay your bills. He'll do it supernaturally. Just like Elijah down by the brook, getting food from ravens and being fed by the widow at Zarephath supernaturally. If God even has to do it supernaturally outside your normal stream of income, he will do it. It's your responsibility to be faithful and deliver that word. So let the shackles of Jezebel be broken and let the prophetic word go forth in the charismatic church in this hour. God bless you. Hey, my name is Stephen Powell, and I want to thank you for watching this video on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and click the button right here, and you can subscribe to our channel so you get new videos as they come available. And also, you can go ahead and watch another video right now if you click this button over here. God bless you.